typical a typical fluorescent tube will cost you around about five dollars uh, for a 36 watt, whether it be a cool white or a normal white. LED tube for volume pricing, it will be around about forty forty two dollars for a tube. So you've got a differential there of around about thirty five dollars. However, an LED tube will last you forty thousand hours. We're guaranteeing 40,000 hours. We're able to guarantee that light 40,000 hours because we know how the driver works. We know the chips that are used on the individual light. We know that the way that the light is manufactured, we actually go to the factory and make sure that it is made to our specification. With a fluorescent tube, it normally might have a life of say 6,000 hours. So you've got a seven times factor there of, of how much life you'll have. The other thing which is very interesting around about a fluorescent tube is a fluorescent tube is an electrostatic discharge device. Now what does that mean? One end of this will be full of dust and no one cleans the fluorescent tube. So in, in conjunction with the degradation of the life of the normal fluorescent tube, you'll also have the reduction in light and output due to the fact that the top end of the fluorescent light will be covered with dust. With the LED tubes in terms of maintenance costs, you won't have to change the LED tube. You don't have to clean the LED tube. The fluorescent light, first of all, you've got to clean it at least every year. Second of all, you'll find that after 5,000, 6,000 hours, you'll have, to, you'll have to replace the light. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize is that when, with an LED tube, because it runs so much cooler, you will actually have savings if you are in an air conditioned environment because the effect of the heating, not only of the fluorescent tube but also of the magnetic ballast or the ballast that actually controls the power to the fluorescent tube is getting very hot. With the LED uh, uh, driver you've got a temperature rise maximum of around about 25 degrees above ambient. As against with a, a, a magnetic ballast you've probably got a temperature rise of at least 80 degrees or 90 degrees above, above ambient. That is loading your air conditioning system in an office. If a fluorescent tube is, is, um, has a magnetic ballast and a, and a, and a conventional starter, it's, 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 and, it's a, and it's a double fitting, 1200 uh, millimeter long, 36 watts per light, means that you think that 36 times two is 72 watts is how much power it's actually drawing. Well, what you don't realise is that it's actually drawing a lot more because of the two ballasts that are in there, the magnetic ballasts. The two magnetic ballasts means that it could be pulling up to close to 90 watts as a double fitting. In a double fitting, which is 1200 millimetres long, with an LED tube, you're only pulling approximately 30, uh, 36 watts, 37 watts. So you're going from 90 watts down to 36 watts. That's a big energy reduction.